Hi there, GW students. I'm going to be showing us how to do our next project. And our not next project is going to be um, about Day of the Dead. So this is somewhat what our project will look like. And for this project, we are going to be talking about sugar skulls. So I, sh I hope that you have already watched the video that I had linked on Schoology um, that talked a little bit more about Day of the Dead. So to start off this project, you're going to need a blank piece of paper or some copy paper. We're going to fold that in half. And I call this hot dog style because it's the long way. We're folding it long way, not the short way. We're, we're going to fold this long way. Let me line up them corners the best that I can. And there we go. I even brought my sugar skull mask so that you guys could see that as well. Look how detailed they are. They really add a lot of cool designs and colors into those. They're very cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up. So now I can see that crease, that line in my paper. So from here, we're gonna be only drawing on one side of the paper, not the other side. So I'm going to use my pencil. We're going to draw some lines. They're going to be about one inch wide going this way. So if you bend your finger like this from this knuckle to this knuckle is approximately one inch. So if I bend that up and you can see it's pretty close to one inch. You can even use your ruler if you would like. So I'm just going to go through here on one side only. Draw those lines in. Then we're gonna start adding and thinking about some lines and designs, some, some different um, patterns that we can add to this. So I really like more lines. So I might add the lines going this way. And we're gonna think of different ones. It's okay if you repeat that. Like I, meant, I might want that down here as well. And that's okay as long as they're not side by side. I'm gonna go ahead and draw those lines again. And maybe I might do some triangle shapes. A little zigzag. Okay, and I might repeat that again right down here. But that looks kind of empty. So I am I think I'm gonna go ahead and put in another triangle inside of those just to really fill them up. Hmm, let me see here. What else would I like to add for my lines and designs, these different patterns? Let me see here. Maybe I can do something like this. It's totally up to you. You do what you think looks best for your project. You do not have to use the same designs and lines that I am doing. If you like mine, go ahead, use them. If you really think, hey, I want that in my project. Go for it. So I'm just gonna really fill these in. I have to feel like I cannot leave these too empty. I need to think of something that needs to go into there. So I might do something like this, where it looks like that almost extends in. Hmm. And then I'll do a circle on the inside. Do a half circle over there. Do the same over here. Because it is okay if you repeat it one other time, but I wouldn't suggest doing it on all of them, okay, if that makes any sense. So now I am ready to start coloring. And when you color this, you're going to be using markers. I need you to be using either Crayola or any sort of washable marker. The reason is because we're going to be doing something with printmaking. We're going to be printing our design onto the other side. That is called a monoprint, but we'll talk a little bit more when we get to that point. So you need washable markers. We're going to be using any of these colors except for black. Do not use black. We're going to use all of these other colors. Now, since I broke up all my designs here, I want to make sure I keep them nice and separate by coloring them in um, separately. So maybe I want these ones to be colored. Look, I kind of like to outline mine to really make sure 
that I stay in the lines. We are old enough to definitely stay in those lines and fill in our space fully. Let me see here, where else? Cause I like to save time by keeping the same marker out. So let me see here, maybe this I would like to color blue. I kind of like those being blue and um, let me see here, maybe these ones as well. Okay, and I might do these little triangle shapes down here. And fill those in. Okay, I think I'm ready to switch colors. I'm going to do maybe a red. I'm going to do these here and you're just going to keep coloring these in until you have this entire side fully colored. Let me show you an example. Like this. This one is fully colored in. I took my time and really filled in that. You, you can probably find very small white spots, but really I tried my hardest to really stay with filling the whole entire picture in. Now here's where we're gonna do something called print making. So when we make a print, it's making a copy of itself. This is called a mono print. A mono print is when you can print something only one time. Mono means one. So to create a print of this, you're going to need some water, either a sponge or I'm even using just a paper towel. We're gonna take this damp paper towel and you wanna squeeze it just a little bit because we don't want it soaking wet or it might ruin our picture. We just want it where it's just a little bit wet when we squeeze it here. So I'm gonna wipe that wet rag on the white side of the paper to get it nice and damp. I might need just a little bit. You'll just have to try and judge it and see. This is a learning process for you. So I'm gonna wet that down. Go ahead and fold my paper over. Let me flip it this way to see if it's transferring. And sometimes you can always just take a nice little peek to see if it's working. Let me peek and see. Okay, so some, see it's not wet enough. So that's okay. From the outside, I'm gonna just add a little bit more water. Maybe that water will kind of soak through the paper. There, I'm starting to see it a little better. So we're just gonna kind of wet this down until I can get that to print onto the other side. Your paper shouldn't be totally like soaking, dripping wet though. Okay, now I can see that really good. I'm gonna very carefully peel this back just to see if it's working. Oh yeah, that's starting to work really good. One last time. Just to really get that marker to transfer over. We don't wanna overwork the paper when it's wet because it could tear our paper. We want to be very gentle with it. Whoops. There we go, that is perfect. We're gonna let this dry just a little bit. Um, so as you're letting your, you want your paper to be completely dry before you start working on it next. So the next step here that we're gonna be doing is drawing the skull part here for our sugar skull because here's, here's what they originally would look like, something like this. So we're gonna be drawing those sugar skulls. That's why we didn't use the black marker. Now we get to use the black marker to really make sure that the skull part really stands out. So even though my paper, paper is still a little damp, I'm gonna go ahead and try drawing on it, but you should wait until your paper is all the way dry. So how we draw this skull, it's like a curved, almost like a full circle, but not all the way. It's close to a full circle. I kind of like to think of it, it's gonna end up looking like a light bulb, okay? So um, sometimes you want to draw with your fingers since we're using something that will not erase. You wanna practice a little bit with your finger, that's fine, to make sure that you don't overdo it. So I'm gonna take my marker. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go back down this way. Curve that in. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Alrighty. And then we're gonna do like what looks like the light bulb part, the bottom that kind of goes into when you screw in your light bulb. So we're gonna put that part down here. So I'm gonna go down, down, and then around and connect those areas here, okay? Now I need a few things on here to make this look more like a skull itself. So we're gonna need to draw the eye socket. So we need some big old circles. We're not gonna color them in though. So we're gonna draw some really big circles. Now my marker, see this is why it's important that we let our papers dry because my marker is acting really silly. There we go, can we see that? Now to draw a nose, it's really just an upside down heart. So I'm gonna flip this upside down and just draw a regular heart and color that in because it's just like a heart. So that when I flip it back around, looks just like a nose. All right, and then I'm gonna draw a line down here. And you can either go lines that go this way, you can do a line and then do something similar to this. I'm gonna go like this. It's totally up to you how you would prefer. This kind of makes it look more like teeth. The other one looks maybe more like stitching. But if you like the other look, go for it. Okay? All right, now I'm gonna start thinking about those little designs that need to be added into this. So, like I said, look at this. Look at all these beautiful lines and you can see little vines in this, which you can draw in there. This uses a lot of hearts, um, some flowers, all kinds of designs that you can add to your picture. So I'm gonna do those vines. I really like that vine look. So I'm gonna draw a line here and maybe just draw some leaves coming off of that. My marker is silly. And I like to do it the same on the other side so they are symmetrical, okay? I really like to do it the same on both sides because sugar skulls are just like that. They are symmetrical. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this on my other side. This had three leaves, so my other side needs to have three leaves as well. Let me see here, I'm also gonna draw like a flower up here. Your picture does not have to look like mine. You draw yours how you would want your picture to look, okay? I'm just working on filling up this space. I need to switch markers. This one isn't working so good for me. There we go, that's a little better. This is why you need to let your paper dry before you use it, okay? Kind of reminds me, makes it look like a like a mustache. So if you've ever seen like the movie Coco, you might be kind of familiar with Day of the Dead. All right, I think that is pretty good. Now what I'm gonna be using is some crayons. And the crayons are just to try and fill in a little bit of these designs that I colored, drawed, had drawn in. So um, let me see, let's see if these work on this wet paper. I'm thinking I'm gonna use maybe a blue. Try coloring, whoops. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. It 
it is a little bit, but like I said, you might want to let your paper dry first because this is what happens if you don't let it dry. Now you're probably gonna wanna add some designs or like some, uh, if you have these little craft balls, you can glue them on top, but if you do not have the craft balls, here's an alternative for you. I made, I had drawn these little flowers on um, a piece of paper and then I just cut them out so that I could just kind of glue them on the top of my skull. So I'm gonna kind of go in a nice little order here pattern. So I'm going to do my red and then red on the other side and then let's do orange and orange on the other side. So let me show you how I drew these if you are wanting to do that. So I just started out with a color and I just kind of drew colored a little swatch of color a good size then you can take your black marker and I just kind of made like a little loop then I'm just gonna start doing wavy lines around it to connect and if you don't like this kind of flower you don't have to do it you do whatever you feel is best now that that's done I can cut that out and it'll look just like these ones and just like every other artist, we are gonna go in here and we need to sign our artwork when we are finished. So I'm gonna go down here to the bottom and sign my name. There you have it, folks. If you have any questions about this art project, please go ahead and post it in the area on Schoology that says questions about um, I don't know if it says sugar skulls or if it says Day of the Dead, um, but there's going to be an area on Schoology where you can post questions. If you don't have a question, you don't have to post in that area. All right. Happy creating, everybody.